Well, Faggot, thanks for joining us. It's great to have you here. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about the presentation. The first one is, where, what do you see the biggest challenges for the hotel industry when it comes to voice services and when they're applying voice services into their environment? I think one of the biggest issues is privacy because people tend to be afraid of new technology. So um, there is a couple of reports in the press about Alexa is not safe and they own your data and do stuff like that. So I think that's the main challenge. I had a slide about privacy there that um, what hotels should, should watch. So give, a, give the customer a, ch a, ch a chance to turn it off on demand. Um, not to force them to use it, or in or another couple, another example is um, use their own um, uh, own account and stuff like that. So they're not afraid of when when they do the, the stuff that somebody else is using these uh, tracking these data. So I think that's one big issue, and the other issue might be the technical uh, part about how to. Um, provide each room with a, with a device and um, make sure that uh, they are connected. You need a very good um, Wi-Fi to, to, uh, to um, make it run. If your Wi-Fi is not that good, you need to do your homework first before you think about right. um, putting Alexa devices or Google Assistant devices in the rooms. Right, right. Now, when you say Wi-Fi, you mean not just the network infrastructure, but the internet connection as well, yes, right? Yes. The, the bandwidth available. Yes. Each device needs to uh, communicate with the Amazon service or right. Google service, so they need a, a good um, connection right. or to, to, to work properly. Right, right. Okay, great. Now, the audience is primarily hoteliers. For those that weren't here today, what would be three key takeaways from your presentation that a hotelier should consider? But the first is that voice is um, um, a very easy um, medium to um, get people to, to, tell, to ask questions or to say commands. The example I had was if you make an appointment, it's much easier to make an appointment when you speak than when you, need, when you use your smartphone or your or website or stuff like that. And so um, it's quite easy to, uh, to, to speak with the machine because we all human beings uh, t tend to speak to communicate and that's that's the, the first uh, big point another point uh, might be that this is a, I think is a start of a revolution I had the slide about the, the decades first coming from the from the GUI then we have the mobile we have the, have the web the mobile and now it's the voice user interface so that's a that's a revolution that just just started and and then uh, for to, to get practical tips we have to give, give a practical tips, uh, uh, three solutions for uh, um, uh, the hotel business that can start today it's the to, to create your own skill your own Alexa skill or your own uh, Google action to to use the Alexa for hospitality program or to use our project Tina where you can uh, you, where you can concentrate on the content and not on the technical part. Right, right. Now, with voice services becoming more and more prevalent, the, the actual booker, the per person looking to book your trip, will start to use voice services a lot more now, especially how Google is supporting yeah. that ecosystem. What would be some of the main advice, or what would be the top advice you'd give a hotel when it comes to their actual booking engine within their own website to be able to support voice services? What, what do they need to consider moving forward? The, 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 I think one good tip is to start early and try to to, to, to know that you will make mistakes in the beginning. No one can build a voice application and make it right at the first place. So just start with a little um, little idea with a little program and then try to get the, get the uh, whole, whole thing. If it comes to booking, um, you need, um, no one will um, place a voice command with all information you need for that booking. So you need to uh, build dialogues, you need to know I'm, okay, I, I have this information, but I'm missing that. So you need to make a natural dialogue to ask people to fill, to fill in all the data, data you know. If you have a big form in, 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 on an on a application, it's quite easy. You know how many rooms, how many people, where you want to stay, if you want a double room, single room. And you need to um, collect all this information, built in a dialogue, right. a natural dialogue. Yeah, awesome. Okay, great. Ralph, thank you so much. Okay. It's great to have Thanks. you. Thank you.